hello there everyone. Today is Valentine's Day and although I have done a few Valentine desserts on my channel, the one I'm going to show you right now is the one I have baked today for my family. I did do a, a chocolate cake also that I did a year ago on my channel. It's really good. But I also did a flourless brownie recipe because my son's, my younger son's girlfriend is gluten intolerant. So I have two desserts and I'm going to do the taste test first. It is really a wonderful brownie. And this is what I've done today for my family. I did show you a few videos of really nice Valentine treats to do, but this is the one I actually baked today. So I hope you really enjoy this and it's a wonderful treat. Thank you for watching. Okay, let's take it out of the pan first. Now we're going to cut these in okay, square. Here they are. They look wonderful. So let's give it a try. Mmm. Very moist. Very chewy. Extremely chocolatey. And you can taste those chocolate chips that I added in the end. Mmm. These are awesome. So, if you're looking for a brownie recipe, this is flourless, but I can honestly say it's as equal to the one I made last year that was fudgy brownies with flour. They're both equally delicious. So, this is a keeper here. So, if you're craving brownies, this is a great recipe. Give it a try and let me know what you think of it. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, these are all the ingredients you're going to need to make these fudgy flourless brownies. You're going to need one and a half cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips, three large eggs, and you want those eggs at room temp, one third a cup of coconut oil, three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla, three tablespoons of cornstarch, three tablespoons of cocoa powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. So I normally uh, melt my chocolate on a double bo in a double boiler on the stove, but today I'm going to do it the easy way in the microwave. So what we're going to do is start with one cup of the chocolate chips and we're going to melt that in the microwave with the coconut oil at 30 second intervals until it's completely melted and creamy. So you're going to put your chocolate chips and your coconut oil in a bowl and we're going to microwave this at 30 second intervals. So this is after 30 seconds so it looks right about like that. We're going to put it back for another 30 seconds. Hey, and this is after 30 more seconds, so now we're going to stir it. I don't think it needs more. It might need a little more. So you want to blend it all together and see if it's completely creamy like you want it. So keep mixing it. I think that this is going to be all it needs. Okay, this is the very first time I've uh, melted chocolate in the microwave, and it is much more convenient than using a double boiler. So it is all melted. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take our eggs, our three eggs and vanilla and uh, sugar, and we're going to beat that in the mixer, those three items, and then we're going to add the chocolate, this chocolate to it afterwards. Okay, here's our three quarters cup of sugar. And then you're going to have uh, two teaspoons of vanilla. And then we're going to add three eggs. And you want these at room temp. Okay, now I'm going over to the electric mixer. I'm going to mix this all together. Okay, after you've blended the uh, sugar and eggs together, now you're going to add in your melted chocolate 
and blend that with the mixer until everything's combined. So the next step is you're going to add your uh, three tablespoons of cornstarch, your cocoa and your salt. And what we're going to do is fold this in. We're not going to blend this with the mixer. We're going to fold all of it in. And lastly, we're going to add the other part of our, the other half a cup, the balance of our chocolate chips. And mix it in right now. So this will all be folded in. And then we're going to pour it in our uh, greased 8x8 baking pan. And you want to have your oven preheated at 350 degrees. Okay, now you're going to pour your batter in, a, in an 8x8 square pan. You either grease it and flour it, or you can grease it with parchment paper over it. But you're going to um, fill this up, and we're going to take it to the oven, and we're going to bake it for anywhere from, I think it's like 15 minutes to 21. It all depends on the Okay, oven. here's our 8x8 pan with our batter filled. And now we're going to put it in the oven. It will bake anywhere from 22 to 28 minutes, and it all depends on your oven. So you might want to start at the lower amount of time. And so this is going in a 350 degree oven, and I will see you in about 22 minutes to start. So I just cut these, and they do have a crackly top, and that's how it's supposed to be. So I'm going to put them on my little tray, and we'll taste them. Hi there everybody. Today is Valentine's Day, so I'm going to show you what I actually baked today for my family. There's five of us today, and I've made a flourless brownie, fudgy flourly, flourless. <laughs>